Hey everybody, whoa. How you know ground conditions and things are getting wet is when ever you see water everywhere. Um, we probably should have been finished. Uh, all forms of said he's been out really too. I think most people are. But look, um, I got a call uh, today from James. I, won't be honest, I was just chatting to James and he was coming beside us to do a bit of bailing. And uh, yeah, he has two bailers, but he had a wee bit to try and finish off. And uh, I basically asked, could we come and join him? Just a wee bit of fun. But I thought there's a reason for it. I was wanted to introduce you to James's new <laughs> 155R Command Pro. Oh boy, James has went big. He has done her in style. He, um, I actually don't know what happened. I know he went down to the dealers and that was a tractor had a few hours on it as a demo this year. And he literally drove it home. He just drove it home. But I see the sticker on it now. So he must own it. That's all I'm saying. But it's a very interesting because I had said to James well, as soon as he had bought that tractor, I says, James, you know, I'd love to get the case and the 155 and the 175 sort of running together. Main reason I'm saying that is because within their own um, lineup of tractors, they're probably the, the, the two that's closest matched. And your case 175 is coming in as they would call them the short wheel base, the biggest of the short wheel base, 175 horsepower with a boost. Um, taking up just over the 200, I think, maybe a wee bit over, not massive. And that's being taken off a uh, Fiat Partrain engine, 6.7 litre. The 155, on the other hand, is a 6.8 litre deer engine. It's 155 horsepower rated with a 40 horsepower IPM. This thing, that's intelligent power management or something like that. You can keep me right if I'm wrong. So she's, she's just heading towards the 200 horsepower. So you could, in theory, really call them 200 horsepower tractors. Now, you'll never get any manufacturer that make tractors like for like. But within the, within the range, that's pretty much where you're at because that's the 155 is the largest of, I think, John Deere call it the medium wheelbase. And this is, case is the largest of the, in the Puma range of the small. Uh, wheelbase and then they go up into the larger wheelbase which is up into your 185 the same as Blake's and above up to the 240 that uh, we videoed that Tango had and then John Deere steps up to the 175 which is the large and then your 230 and 250R I don't know what the actual are they XLs but I know they're slightly bigger but that's not all James has upgraded and went for Command Pro. Now this is the man that said, never, I just want levers, keep it simple, all the rest of it. And that's what he has done. Conditions are tricky. There's a little hollow over there, there's a wee bit damp, but he's on this 155 and he's loving it. Big man's taking no chances with the front weight on. But um, there it is, the 155R Ultimate Edition. Command Pro, loads of programmable functions in the Command Pro. Obviously the Command Pro, that's the running the auto power, which is John Deere's terminology for their gearbox, continuously variable. Um, CVX is Case's terminology for the CVX and uh, continuously variable. So um, multi-controller setup on the case, which I really like. Um, I find it very, very, easy to the hand, very easy to use, reasonably simplistic in that front. Auto Power, Command Pro, can sort of be as complicated or as easy as you want it to be. Um, but there's a lot of functions on that joystick and it would take, it, it would take a wee bit of time to get fettled through them all. Gary's out with the, obviously the McHale that we have. We kind of had it washed up and through a bit of madness, we came on ahead and said we'd join in. Because James did say that he would love to see the 1,000 speed gearbox. So that's pretty much what we're doing. 
Uh, Connor and Sharon have come out just to grab that little last bit of footage. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Um, the, the case and the McHale that we have does run extremely sweet. Um, James runs two, one with the camless pickup and one with the cams pickup, but none of them uh, on the 1000 speed uh, box yet. So that is something they wanted to see. They do a lot of bales, um, the Mackay family, so, um, but James doesn't do that many. And uh, <laughs> don't really know James doesn't do a white lot. All I know is when he brought home this 155R, he um, straight has used it for absolutely everything. Everything. He's had it shifting the digger, he's had it in the crusher, he's had it ploughing. I think he fell into a shock, but we'll not get into that. And he's, <laughs> he's had it doing absolutely everything. And um, he's, uh, he's obviously loving it, so I don't know what that's going to do in the yard. That could cause a few, a few flare-ups, but damn. Look, I know it's only a little bit of an update. It's what we were doing today. Just an opportunity to get it out in the field and a few more bales through it. Um, harvest pretty much finished everywhere, and congratulations to everybody on getting your harvest in. Uh, I know there's still a good bit of maize uh, to go in throughout the UK and Ireland, but also I know as we head over the world and around the world, um, I know that um, harvest is only, only beginning for a lot of people. Here he comes. And a massive thank you to Cooney Furlong Group for throwing us this case for a wee bit of time. I genuinely have loved it. Um, I personally be happy in any one of those two tractors. I think they're absolutely awesome and probably as good as you get in today's world. Doctors will differ, patients will die. I know this big man sitting up in here, he will be uh, interested only and his big new deer. Just look at the big poser there, hey. Just look at him. Look at him. He doesn't know what button to push. <laughs> look at the hand. Ah, my lord. <laughs> hey, what's this? <laughs> what's all that big fancy stuff? <laughs> Keep her lap, bro. <laughs> oh, what a guy. But I think personally, I think personally it's great that um, great to see the likes of the Mackay family um, embracing James embracing one of the command pros because I think a lot of the work that these guys are doing between um, ploughing and sowing and uh, a lot of baling on the likes of Effusion, I think the, I think the technology, if and when they can get it adopted into their life, I think it'll make a big difference and uh, things like that. So I will talk to you later and uh, be good, stay safe, and remember it's okay to not be okay.